Good morning and welcome to City Line. It is great to be in your home. We are live every Thursday morning and this morning is January 31st. Wow, where did the month go? Uh, so we have a great uh, hour ahead of us. Later on in the hour, we'll be talking with uh, the uh, Asian Pacific Cultural Center. They are here to talk about their 21st celebration of the new year and this year they are celebrating one of my favorite places to visit and that's Hawaii so you definitely want to uh, hang around for that segment. Tacoma Art Museum is here, Rock is here to talk about some of the new exhibits that they have and especially the Benaroya exhibit and uh, their connection with glass so you don't want to miss that. It's been a while since we've had Rock on so it'll be good to see him again. And then Tacoma Little Theater is here to talk about their main stage production of a doll's house. Uh, so you definitely want to hang out for that. Miss Annie will give us a taste of her character called Nora. And then with me right now are three people that I have just grown to love and enjoy. And let me tell you, if you are a social media person, you definitely need to get on the Tacoma Concert Band Facebook and or Instagram. Now, I don't tweet, so I don't know what they do for tweeting. You have Twitter. But they have so much fun, and they are so engaged. So it's my pleasure to welcome them back. Um, welcome back, Maestro Gerard Morris. Thank How you. are you? Doing great, Amanda. Thank Good you. to see you. Now, do you go by Maestro or Conductor? Either or. Either or. You get both of them. I mean, quite honestly, who doesn't want to be called Maestro? Well, I know. I mean, I'd want Maestro. Yeah. Pardon absolutely. me, Maestro. I love that. <laughs> so, and this beautiful woman next to you, Lisa Sapita, you, you are just top drawer in my books. You are the marketing, social media coordinator, percussionist, and pizza arranger <laughs> for Tacoma Concert Band. This, Welcome back, thank my you. dear. I, lo I love what you do on social media. I love it because it's a lot of work. I mean, I see you posting late hours, as I've said before. Yeah. So it truly is a love of yours because you already have a full-time job during the day. True. So now you have probably three full-time jobs, if not more, that I don't know about. So Those are the only ones. Those are good. <laughs> <laughs> this wonderful man next to you, Morris Northcutt, you are the trumpet player. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Offer to come our concert band, but you're also the board, uh, president of the board of directors. Is that correct? I am. Yeah. Well, welcome back. It's Thank good you to have you. Us. You've been traveling since I saw you last. A little bit. A little yes. bit, yeah. Trumpet uh, takes me uh, a lot of different places. I love that. Well, you are dedicated to your instrument uh, full time. So, Lisa, let's talk about this military concert coming up, which I think, first off, is such a beautiful gift to the community. Um, why does this resonate so deeply with um, Tacoma Concert Band? Sure. Well, we have so many uh, current and former band members who have military service, uh, whether it be active duty, um, the reserves, and the National Guard. And we also have a lot of band members who have family and friends who have served in those same capacities. Um, I think that this makes this concert feel really personal to us because we have these varying degrees of experience with the military. Mm -hmm. And so it's actually an abs absolute honor, I think, for us to be performing this music uh, to, to honor and thank the military, you know, current and past, for their commitment and sacrifices to our country. Oh, boy, that was beautifully said. That's a curtain speech, Maestro, right yes, there. Right it absolutely there. is. So yeah. you say that with such um, heartfelt emotion. Do you have an experience with the military, with your family, or with yourself? Yes, definitely. Um, so my father uh, served in the Army, mm -hmm. and he's a Vietnam vet. Um, and uh, eventually he was stationed at Fort Lewis. Um, that's where I was born. And so my family um, spent many years on Fort Lewis. That's what it was called back then. So now it's JBLM. Um, and you know, we had our share of all of the moving, um, being stationed overseas and so on. Um, so there's some things that, that my father, that I, you know, I, I witnessed specifically to my father um, with his military service. Um, one thing was his absolute pride about being a soldier. Um, and just kind of a cute story with that is that when we came back from Germany, in the late 70s, um, we needed to get a smaller vehicle because of the gas, you know, the oil shortage and so on. So we went from a station wagon, you know, well, he wanted to get rid of the station wagon. We're, in, uh, we're driving down South Tacoma Way looking at the different car lots. Oh, yes. And uh, yeah, 
all of a sudden he spies this um, Volkswagen Beetle and it's just covered in stars and stripes. Oh! And he was so excited when he saw that. He, you know, he told his friend, pull the car over, that, that's what I'm getting. And um, it's because of his absolute pride about being a United States soldier. Um, and it was just cute because my sister and I were, were young and you know, kids, they don't, they don't want anything that brings no. attention to them. So no. we're like, dad, please, dad, please, please. no. <laughs> There's no room yeah. for us to hide in the back seat in yeah, this exactly. car. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but it's, he felt so proud about being a soldier that he had to have that, that car. And, that's and he, what got he got it. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. I love that yeah. story. So, um, Gerard, tell us about your service in the military, because because I I wouldn't put together maestro conductor with military background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I enlisted uh, when I was 22, uh, and I served for one tour in the United States Marine Corps. Oh. I uh, yeah, I enlisted as a Marine Corps musician, and um, in the field bands, you go through the exact same training everybody else. So you does. go through boot camp. Oh yeah, oh. Now, for, uh, every Marine that's um, in the field, um, these, the DC bands are, are a little different from the field musicians. All the field musicians, you're, you are our, uh, first and foremost a rifleman. And so you go through boot camp, you go through combat training, you are then stationed somewhere across the United States or abroad, um, and then you have a, uh, a combat mission. Uh, depending on which unit you're in. So I was fortunate uh, to be stationed in Hawaii for three years, which was perfect. Oh, because well, there we go. Hawaii. So I was making lots of friends in the, uh, in the green room here. Yes. Um, and it was uh, really a wonderful place to be. Our, we were trained in rear security uh, for the General of the Pacific uh, while I was stationed out there. But while I was doing my Marine Corps duties, I was also playing in the Marine Forces Pacific Band uh, mm. on Oahu. I love that. Boy, I'll tell you what, there is... I mean, my dad was a pilot uh, in the Air Force, stationed at McCord Air Force Base when it was called McCord Air Force Base. Yeah. And uh, I grew up a military brat, not a term they use anymore, um, but uh, military bands, marching bands, brass bands, men in uniform will make me cry every mm. single time. Um, so I have a deep respect for those bands as they come marching through and knowing that they're also soldiers at heart. So Morris, let's talk about your involvement because when I think about the trumpet, I think about taps, it goes to military. Sure. So I'm gonna let you take it from there. Well, I've had um, plenty of opportunities to, to share in that in uh, playing taps and playing the national anthem yes. for, for military and um, for, uh, Gold Star and for, for vets, memorial services and whatnot. It's always the most moving um, experience pretty much of, of any kind of playing I do it's it's the most moving it's the most touching and I often have um, folks come up to me and um, with tears in their eyes to say that it moved them and and um, yeah so it's it's a wonderful experience my personal connection with military is uh, my father was yes. in the army uh, my uncle was in Vietnam my uh, brother is uh, was in the Marine Corps as well so it's very personal and I'm excited to to honor the military. Well, I am, I am just delighted that your organization has picked up this mantle and is doing this, given um, how much JBLM um, is a part of our heart, our soul, our, the fabric of our lives. I mean, this, this is huge for us, and it's time that we celebrate this. And what a better way than looking at Sousa marches and some other recognizable tunes, which, Maestro, what will, what will we hear at the concert? What are you going to lay out for us? Yeah, there's some very traditional uh, military music. Which I love. Right? And who doesn't want to hear a great march? That's right. Um, but we're also performing some pieces that are lesser known. Um, there's a wonderful piece based on the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, that Carolyn Bremer uh, wrote uh, called Early Light. Mm -hmm. And this is her reflection of being at baseball games when she was young. 
And so it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful piece. Um, there's also uh, the Morton Gould's um, American Salute, which, which quite a few people know is based on Johnny Comes Marching Home. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite pieces on the program is the Mark Camp House uh, Symphonic Prelude, The Cemetery at colville Somer. Oh. This piece is a representation of his experience when he was at the cemetery um, overlooking uh, the beaches at colville Somer. Uh, where so many people lost their lives in World War II. And this is a very, uh, um, a, a, it's a very reflective piece as you can, you know, anybody who's been to Arlington Cemetery yes. will stand there and you have that sense of like, the sacrifice um, yes. for all of us. Sacrifice and above self. Exactly. And that's what, that's one of the reasons why I program this piece, but that's part of the theme here is that we want to honor the service uh, men and women um, uh, past and present, and maybe those for the future, and inspire people that want to serve. Absolutely. And, and going with the theme of community this year, that I've been my thread through all of the concerts in my first season, this is really important to me because I think we need to thank, not only thank, but really celebrate the people who make that choice to serve. Absolutely. And, 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 and serve and service can be many, many things. Mm -hmm. But the big example that we have is, is defending, as you said, in the green room. Mm -hmm. We are in a, in a defending mode now in our country and standing up for the values that this country was founded on. And service can be volunteering at a food bank or it can be at the age of 21 enlisting in the Marines. But either way, I think it's a, it's a character and it's a trait that's um, starting to be lost in our society. So I think that music can inspire people to really think about those who have set the example. Yes. Let's talk about that, that student soloist in these last few minutes here. Okay, our student soloist uh, competition winner this year yes. for the Tacoma Concert Band is Hugo Bliss. And Hugo is a, uh, he's from Seattle, he's homeschooled in Seattle, and he's studied with some really fantastic horn teachers in Seattle. He's gonna be performing Mozart's uh, Horn Concerto, a Kerschel 447, uh, which is probably the most famous of the Mozart Horn Concertos, and he's phenomenal. He, re he rehearsed with us last Yay. night. And we had a great time I with I can Hugo. tell the smiles. Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna have a wonderful time. So um, regardless of what instrument you play, he's, you're, going, you're going to enjoy you're his enjoy. performance. He's wonderful. I love that. So Morris, last two questions for you, then we wanna do some thank yous here. Um, Tacoma Concert Band, they just seem to be everywhere. So what other ways will we notice that you are involved in the community? Well, for many years, our education side of, of our organization has been focused on the student solo competition and the, the uh, uh, young artist program, or a side-by-side -side program. But we're expanding that, and we're looking and exploring um, other ways to get involved in the community. It might be in terms of um, donating um, reeds to a school and sending one of our own musicians into the school to provide a clinic at no cost to them, just to, to help support the, the local community schools. I love that. And knowing Lisa, she's got it on the website in terms of <laughs> all the ways that you are generously uh, outreaching to our community. So um, I want one thing from you as the board president that you have accomplished so far, just one. I know there's so many things. There are a lot of things. Uh, I would say that we've grown our volunteer base enormously. Um, and uh, all of those folks are, are dedicated. Um, they love our organization, and um, we're just very grateful. But that has really grown. I'm very proud of it. We're all vested in, in the organization. That. And on that note, I'm going to say your thank yous for you uh, to all of your volunteers, your board, uh, ticket holders, anybody who has touched Tacoma Concert Band to make it such a wonderful success that it is. I'm going to be at that concert because my dad um, was my hero. So I will be there with my Kleenex crying and cheering you guys on. So thank you so much for being here. And as always, there's always a place for you on the comfy couch. <laughs> thank yeah. you, Amanda. You're welcome. Thank you. thank you. When we come back after just a little bit of musical chairs to come a little theater, we'll be here to talk about a dollhouse. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.